Good morning and welcome to today's encouragement. Well, we are busy dealing with Paul's masterclass on how to deal with anxiety. And we hit um, uh, uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5 today. But before that, the whole chapter is based on these two, two verses, verse 6 and verse 7, where he said, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to the Lord. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And that peace is what we're looking for. He says, be anxious for nothing. Pray, make supplication to the Lord. Be thankful. And we've heard of the different areas up to now that, that can cause us to lose our, um, our peace and cause anxiety in our lives. Yesterday we spoke about rejoicing. We mustn't forget to rejoice. Today, verse 5, what does verse 5 say? Let your, gentle, let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Wow. How can that impact my anxiety level? Well, gentleness is the opposite, op opposite of aggression. I can either be gentle meek or I can be aggressive and feisty or feisty and when we are like that it is going to cause anxiety in our lives aggressive behavior will upset you and it'll upset those to whom or against whom you are behaving aggressively Proverbs 15 verse 1 says this a soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger more analysis let me say that again a soft answer a gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh answer an aggressive answer stirs up anger and when there's anger there's anxiety but where wrath has been turned away eh, there's peace so when paul says in verse 5 let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. He's saying, let people know that you're a gentle person. Gentleness is part of the fruit of the Spirit. It's also a character of Christ. It said a bruised reed. In Isaiah we read, a bruised reed he would not break. A smoking or a smoldering flex he will not put out. Christ is gentle. He's powerful. He's mighty. But there's a gentleness in his strength. And his gentleness will make us great if we can reflect that gentleness. Psalm 37 verse 11 says this, But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The meek shall inherit the earth. The gentle shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in what? In the abundance of peace. The abundance of peace speaks to me about the absence of anxiety. If you want to get rid of anxiety in your life, get rid of your aggressive behavior. And we are all capable of aggression. Us men, as we get older, we're very capable of becoming grumpy old men. That's not gentle. We cause ourselves anxiety because nobody wants to talk to a grumpy person. Nobody wants to be around a grumpy person. So what comes with it? Loneliness, frustration, hurt. And of course, you find it. I want to encourage you today. Let your gentleness be known to all men. And then you will experience peace. Let me read Psalm 37, 11 one more time and then I'm going to close. But the meek shall inherit the earth. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. I want the abundance of peace in my life. How about you? Let's pray. Father, how often is it in our lives that instead of being gentle, we respond aggressively, angrily, in a, a, a prideful way, in a haughty manner, and it's far from the gentleness that will grant us peace. David said, your gentleness has made me great. 
As he reflected your gentleness, you made him great. David had opportunity to kill Saul. He didn't. He said, far be it from him to kill the Lord's anointed. He reflected a strength in his gentleness. And we can learn from him. We can learn from Jesus, who won't break a bruised reed or, or, or put out a smoldering flax. We pray that our gentleness, my gentleness, every person that is watching this is gentleness, will be made known to all men. And Lord, Paul carried on to say, the Lord is at hand. What did that mean? It meant you are watching us. We pray that you'll find us gentle, that you'll find us peace seekers. And I pray that Psalm 37 11 will be our portion, that we will inherit the earth, and shall delight ourselves in the abundance of peace. I ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, what a powerful word. We thank you for your word today. We bless you for it. May we walk in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Thank you for watching. And by the Lord's grace, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheerio.